Hello, first day, and we are back. Okay. Uh, what do we have today? We have a job. We have a Samsung tablet, and I seen many of these Samsung tablets with this fold. Actually, it's it's a very confusing fold. So how how we start? Is the tablet is not coming on the tablet is not charging and you mistakenly you will think you have a charging port issue you have some even this one so this one was booked in was booked in for a LCD yeah for a LCD I said okay it's no picture it's taking 0 0.5 amps what they said yeah and must be a LCD well, obviously they were wrong so the first what you'll see actually it's it's not charging with the right current it's not coming on you have no picture or you can have picture and the tablet is charging fine and it's coming on but it's drawing the battery down quickly yeah or like on this moment this tablet On this moment, you go on the Wi-Fi, you try to activate the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and actually you can't do it. No Wi-Fi, yeah? Because I took the Wi-Fi chip down, because that, that's it's all about, it's about the Wi-Fi chip. I took the chip out, and the tablet started charging and working uh, normally, but no Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Obviously, I took the chip out, yeah? So that's the issue. That's a common issue with the Samsung tablets with Wi-Fi problems, yeah? Wi-Fi is not working, Wi-Fi is grayed out, same same with the iPhone, yeah? Remember the iPhone, the iPhone with the Wi-Fi pro same thing, you know, it's the Wi-Fi chip. But on the on the on the iPhone now we are not doing this. It's 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 a it's a very risky job. To replace the Wi-Fi chip on the on the iPhone. It's not worth I don't think anyone is doing that job. So we switch on the the Wi-Fi, but it's still nothing. Yeah, let's wait a bit. Yeah, now uh, the boat are off. Yeah, so we have no Wi-Fi. Nothing. The Wi-Fi is dead. Obviously, I took the chip out, but you can have a case when actually the tablet is not coming on because that chip is completely shorted. You can have a case like here when actually the chip is not shorted but it's just dead. Or you can have a case when actually it's working but it's drawing down the battery very quickly. Okay? So let's try and replace this one. The tablet is open already. <coughs> Let me get out the battery. It's a it's a uh, multi-purpose chip. It's actually the Bluetooth, is the Wi-Fi, and very possible to be with the GSM signal also. Possible. Let's have a look under the microscope. So I took the chip out, and all what we have to do now is to replace that chip. Yeah, so the chip must be there. I'll tell you in one second what chip is. So the chip must be there. The chip arrived yesterday. Actually, I bought two to have two chips. It, it, it's an easy job. It's nothing complicated, but the idea is to diagnose the problem on the right way. So obviously the tablet was not charging was not coming on, was taking like 0 0.5 amps. What I did, I come with a power supply and I charge the battery. And the tablet start charging and working normally, but I didn't know about the Wi-Fi. I didn't know. So it start charging. That was coming on. And after that, I said, let's check if the tablet is drawing down any current. Because I don't get it why the battery was so low. The battery was like 2 volt. So I took the battery connector, I come with the power supply, and the tablet was drawing around 600 milliamps, doing nothing. And obviously the chip was getting warm. 
that's the moment when you have to take out the chip yeah and replace that chip so we have our chip all we have to do is to replace the chip so that's our chip that's the one it's kind of weird with some pins missing yeah we have to replace this one yeah so actually this is great because I can see the chip position so the chip position must be like that uh, no no like that on the other side this is not complicated but you have to pay a little bit uh, attention on the solder because the chip is is long yeah it's not a square one it's a long one so be sure your nozzle will cover the it will be like that yeah like that so the chip must be like that we have the flux there so there's no point using more flux all what we have to do is to solder the chip let me get a hot air machine yeah, I post on uh, on YouTube like uh, a few days ago about a Twitch. The people go scared. Twitch actually, it's it's very nice. It's if you compare Twitch with YouTube, you can't compare our two different things. YouTube is most uh, for the upload videos, but Twitch is for live streaming, and for live streaming it's great. So doing live stream on YouTube, I am using like 14 more megabits per second, the one four. Yeah, on Twitch right now I'm using four. So their transcoding is fantastic, yeah. And um, Diana did some tests, and actually mixer mixes it's even better, yeah. It's a, it's 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 not it's a big difference compared with YouTube, but even with Twitch, so the quality of mixer is even higher. So I choose Twitch just for live streams. But you don't have to be scared whatever will be on the twitch you have a button on twitch to upload to youtube so you have to do nothing you just press export and uh, twitch will export the video to youtube so if you don't like it you don't like it i understand that well, looks more relaxing yeah i don't know i'm just trying now to grow up that uh, channel and at some point, probably around Christmas, we can start doing some uh, regular live streams. Okay? Nothing to be scared. Let's replace this chip. Let's try with 360 degrees. Should be fine, 360. Now the thing is it's it, it's nothing to clean yeah it's to clean what we have flux we have solder nothing to clean all we have to do is to keep the chip on place okay It's a it's a easy job. It's not a hard one, yeah. We just have to be sure the chip is soldered properly. So the chip is moving freely. Ah, sorry, it was not on the center of the screen. Sorry. 
And I should be fine. That, that's all what you have to do. It's not hard. I use 360 degrees Celsius. You just keep the chip in place and solder the chip back. Now let's try to cool down the chip if we can find any heat sink. No, of course, I can't find. Well, the Christmas is coming, you know. Uh, one more week and um, I will be off and I'll have more time. I'm not happy about a lot of things about uh, this channel. Like how I said on Discord a few days ago. Um, this is kind of reality show, so whatever I'm doing here, I'm doing here from a money point of view. I can't do jobs which uh, just for the, the love of the life, the, the, the recording. So I have to do only jobs which is worth to be done. Yeah. And also, my channel luck and a lot of beginner's content, and I'm not happy about that. But we'll see, this, this will get changed soon. I just want to get concentrated on beginners. It's hard, when you're a beginner you, you, you don't know nothing, like... Ask me to cook, I don't know nothing about cook, it's caring. It's, it's, I don't even want to touch, because it's too... Uh, even cooking. I love cook. That that that's important. That's matter. <laughs> no, really. That's you know it's a big thing, cooking. So I don't know nothing about cooking, and I'm scared if I will be to start uh, cook. Yeah, to cook. I will be scared because I don't know if it's good or not. I don't know if it's if it's the right thing or not. So same with the electronics. The people are scared. I was scared. Anyway, let's check this, yeah? So we plug the battery, press the power button, tablet is coming on, that means mean my chip is not shorted. It's so easy, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you spend more time with the hot air, you can short a uh, uh, Signal chip like a Wi-Fi chip or which is the pro is connected straight to the battery. So you sure that chip the tablet is done Let's see if the Wi-Fi is working. Maybe it's not working Hey go back settings Wi-Fi is on and all the networks are on yeah you can see so let's connect to our Wi-Fi network let me put the password and it's connected yeah so everything is working fine. We have full signal. You can see there full signal, full signal here. What did I press? I don't want to restore anything. What do you mean? Okay. So it is connected and it's working fine. The picture is weird on, on my screen. Yeah, so we have full signal and disconnected. So that's all, all what we did, but this fault, it's a general fault on any, like iPhones, like Samsung, Sam, the special Samsung tablet, I've seen a lot, with, with the Wi-Fi chip going that. The chip on this one, let me see what chip is. Mm. 
the chip on this one is uh, I don't know I ordered the chip but I don't remember what chip was okay I can see now so this is a Broadcom chip BS BCM four three five four yeah okay that does that, that's this chip Okay, that's all. So you have to pay attention on jobs like it's not charging, or you find like a low battery and you will charge. Probably you will charge with the power supply, you will charge the battery and say, Oh, look, it's fine, it's charging, it's working. But if you check if it, the, the board is drawing down the current, you will see actually if you have another problem or not. Yeah, okay. I don't really have too many jobs here because uh, before Christmas it's kind of dead. People are trying to save the money. But anyway, see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.